After wearing them, my mind has completely changed. Hi, hello, my name is Elof, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, as you can know from the title of it, is going to be the unboxing of the new A6X GmbH collaboration. I have the box right here, I've actually not opened it yet, so I'm equally as excited to see what's inside here. I'm a big fan of GmbH and the clothing, although I don't really own anything from the brand, I appreciate the design and I think that they would fit very well with my style. I just uh, think that they're a bit out of my budget at the moment, but I would love to have some things because they're always killing it with their collections and it's just, yeah, they're always very, very cool. So once I saw that they have a collaboration with ASICS and the price of it was quite reasonable, I mean, it was reasonable, I really wanted to get something from them. This is definitely not the first collaboration between ASICS and GmbH. They've definitely done a few last year, but this is the first one that I am aware of and I ended up getting a pair because I really like the design of it and look pretty cool and yeah we're gonna talk more about that in a bit but this is called the gel nandi 360 and they had two colorways and one was like an all black colorway and the other one was a khaki green with a bit of pink so guess which one i got i'm very curious to see how the colorway is going to look in person because online um it looked very bright and then uh, on the instagram post that i saw it looked quite dark so i'm not sure what to believe because actually couldn't find them in like liberties when i went yesterday and then obviously i didn't check selfridges or and i feel like maybe i should have seen them there but i ended up getting them from sneaker and stuff and i believe they were about 160 pounds and they had a 10 pound off uh i don't know why but i definitely got a 10 pound off so that's always good so this is how the box looks and it looks like it's just a basic uh, a6 box there's not really any GmbH branding or really any different design. I mean, not that I know how a A6 box should look like, but I feel like that looks like a basic A6 box. I don't actually own any pair of A6, but I must admit that after checking the collaboration, I started getting inundated with like promotional emails from like Farfetch and Masses Fashion promoting me A6 designs. And I had a look online and they are actually pretty cool. Like I love the colorways. They're going for like this vintage street style vibe, which I'm kind of into and I really liked some of them. Must have either really improved since I remember them like when I was 12, which is probably the last time I wore A6, if I ever wore A6, or they're just uh, very trendy right now. And for some reason I like them because I see them on Instagram. It's probably the latter, isn't it? So anyways, enough of the talking. Uh, so if I open it like this, obviously, you guessed it right, this is the colorway that I chose, which is the khaki green and bright as pink color. Okay, so there's definitely a lot more pink than I expected. Uh, I don't remember being like three different colors of pink on the sole, and then there's also pink just right on the bottom in here, and then there's also pink on top with the logo here we are with the old pink sole so yeah there's definitely a lot of pink in here which i didn't remember being it this pink i thought the pink would be a little more subtle this is like completely natural light by the way there's no artificial lighting uh, currently so this is how the shoe looks in real life i love the colorway on this i find it such a fascinating idea that they're mixing the like camo green with the pink and it actually looks very very cool to me it's definitely a standout shoe this is not a shoe for the week definitely a bit of a sock i'm not going to lie it looks almost like i went to the women's section and picked up a woman's shoe and bought it i think that my mom would wear rock this so much better than me she does love asics and i feel like she does have a similar colorway to the pinks on the bottom but in my opinion i think i should be able to make this work it's a fashionable shoe it's definitely out there and it's definitely unique you're not going to be seeing any other person walking around the streets of London wearing this and that really excites me and also it's a challenge for me to style this shoe and make it look like I fit in because this is definitely something that I would not feel comfortable wearing but I think with the right styling I could potentially make this work choosing the shoe was a very hard decision I was very torn between getting either this one or the all black one but I personally was drawn more into this colorway I feel like the black one was quite bland in my opinion and when you go GMB8 you want to stand out and you want to make sure you get the people's attention. I felt like this shoe embodied more the branding of GmbH than an all black one. Also meant to be coming out with an all white colorway, which actually they don't have the release date for that yet, but I think there are pictures of the all white colorway online and they're actually doing a lot more collaborations throughout the year with like a lot of different shoes. This was the design that I liked the most and the one that I was more keen to purchase. 
I don't think the other ones will really fit in my style. Not that this one does, but this one, I don't know, I'm very, I'm very excited about. Like, I'm very excited to see myself in these shoes. So, what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to give these a go and try them on and see how I feel about them. So, let's do that. <laughs> say this is so so comfortable to wear like i don't know what they have going on with this gel technology but i am all for it like this is one of the most comfortable shoes i've worn in my life like and definitely the most comfortable one from a collaboration between a fashion house and like a sportswear brand like i am obsessed with the fit of these and I actually got in a size 8 uk which is my normal size like my usual size so i would suggest that this is true to size and you don't need to size down or size up just get whatever size you are now about the colorway after wearing them my mind has completely changed i know i may have seemed skeptical at first but in my opinion they don't look as flashy when you wear them and i don't know what like i generally really like the pink element of it like it's definitely unique but i don't mind it actually excites me a little bit more it's not going to be a suit that is going to be loved by everyone just because there is pink and a lot of guys don't feel comfortable doing that but I don't really care. So for me, it's a challenge and it's a challenge that I'm so willing to take. I was thinking of more wearing these for like a street style looks and not really for an everyday to day life. But after wearing them and just seeing how nice it looks on my feet and just like with just a, even like a simple outfit like this one, I really think it elevated it. All this very, very comfortable. I don't think I'll be wearing it to the gym just because I'll be getting a lot of stairs. And actually, I don't want to ruin this suit for going to the gym. Yeah, it just looks so cool in my opinion. I don't know, what do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. I'm very curious to see your opinion on it. Please be a little bit more open-minded. Like my opinion changed completely having this on, so maybe before you judge, try this on. Go like to your local Selfridges. No, I don't know, to your local store where they have them. I'm not sure if they're sold out yet. I got them a few days ago. I think I got them the day they were released. So maybe now they're all sold out. I don't know the hype about them. But this is definitely a suit that should be a bit more hyped about, in my opinion, because it is fucking bomb. And that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. It really does help me grow. For more fashion content, make sure to also follow me on my Instagram, which I'll have in the description below. And do let me know what you actually think about this suit. And let's have a conversation about it because I want to talk and I want to talk about this suit right here. If you have any suggestions of what corner you would like to see me do next, please feel free to drop them down below. I love listening to your feedback. But till I see you again, bye bye.